Today we're making a refreshing cocktail utilizing a blood orange liqueur. Stay tuned for more. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. That, my friends, is Ian Andrews, and we're going to make for you today our version of the Blood Orange Cooler. Yes, this recipe has an ounce and a half of Salerno Blood Orange Liqueur, a uh, half ounce of agave syrup, half ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of lime juice, an ounce of pineapple juice. We're using a can instead of for a squeeze because yeah. it makes more sense. Uh, two ounces of ginger ale and 12 raspberries with a blood orange slice for garnish. We're going to muddle the raspberries, the agave, the lemon, and the lime juice all together. We're going to add everything else but the carbonated soda, the ginger ale, and we're going to shake it and double strain it into a highball, which we're going to top with the ginger ale. That wow. easy. That is it. It takes <laughs> that, a minute that, to explain it. That's it's it. going to take a minute to make it. Um, this cocktail, in partnership with the T folks at TGI Fridays, they have on their menu the blood orange cooler. So, I wanted to have a blood orange cooler for ourselves. Jennifer designed this recipe, and not to say it's necessary to compete up against it, but I want to know which is better or what are the differences between them because I know their recipe uses uh, a blood orange vodka. We're using Salerno, a blood orange liqueur, but it's 40%, so it's the same proofage. Um, and each of these ingredients, other than that, matches to sub level, not necessarily in ratio, but in, in total ingredients, the blood orange cooler on the menu at TGI Fridays. So as part of our contest, if you're in the United States, uh, if you're a resident, I have a giveaway that I want to do. It's, it's a very short giveaway. The contest is going to end around the 3rd of April. And I say around because it should be the 3rd of April. I'm just going to confirm that. And it's what we're calling the date night giveaway. So a $50 coupon, a $50 gift card to TGI Fridays, plus $30 Fandango gift card to go see the movies, or movies, and so now you can get dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. And all That's you're going to need to do is I've decided you're going to either be sitting at TGI Fridays drinking, say, the Blood Orange Cooler, take a selfie, or a multi-selfie if you have multiple friends and family and whatnot. Selfie's always a weird word because it's not everybody yourself anymore. No, it's a us see. So what you're going to do is that doesn't work for you. Let's let's just say you're driving by TGI Fridays in your local town. Drive up, get on your car, take a selfie of you in front of TGI Fridays. Submit it to me by the date I said, April 3rd. dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com. You can be either the image attachment if it's small enough. You can use your Instagram account, Twitter, whatever your favorite social media is, and send me a photo of it, and I'll add you in. Since it's such a short, short contest, I have a feeling we'll get less registrants, if that's a word, than normal. So, if you get up off the butt... I think that's a butt, word. I think you pronounced it wrong, but I think that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's the problem, is the pronunciation. Um, it's, it's not with me. So, if you get up, you get in your car, you drive down, take a photo, send it off to me, you could just win. It could, you're just like, boom, that's all I have to do. Yes. It's that easy. That's, it's that easy. It's always good when things are that easy. Yes. And then you want to go home after you've gone there, you've won that... You go over, you get yourself a blood, or, blood orange cooler at TGI Fridays. You make this drink at home, and then tell me which one you like better. Oh, it's tempering. Yes, that's the other thing that we're doing differently in this one. We're using a different type of ice. So I created this ice. I put it in a cooler, froze it from the top down. I'll have so an entire video on you, how that you, happens. You created the ice. You I crafted created. it at a murkier level. I crafted it. I did. I, I, cra I put this. You pan controlled crafted. the crystals I that did. were forming. I did by putting them into yes. things that were cold. <laughs> and then, and then Liam and it me. sounds like you want an awful lot more credit. <laughs> I said. made this ice <laughs> I like from scratch before it started. All I had was hydrogen and oxygen, and I bound them together. Well, they were already bound together. Let's face it. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> and so it's clear. Like it's clear it, ice. Yeah. So that it, clear ice, made by me, cut by, by my son, we, we shaved it off like craftsmen. Clear ice is a talent into itself. And I am now the talent giver. <laughs> you know I, what the great thing is though? I Pre can tell pressure that creates ice to causes ice to melt. It wasn't cut straight. <laughs> uh, well no, so but that's it, gonna go over I, there no I time. tested it to see how it would fit. So I'm trying not to, I'm not pouring this fast just because this is kind of a round bottom strainer. I don't want to get a mess out everybody, everywhere. Okay. Is that and what you don't want to do? Yeah, that's what this I don't want tender. to do. Tender. That is such a cool color though. I love the color. You want me to help you? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Teamwork, that's what we do here. 
Wow, you, um, yeah. Sticky. Stick. It's like a dry <laughs> berry flavor to it's it. It's a good thing you qualified that. I know. You know, for those that had never seen a blood orange before. You didn't drink enough. I can fix that. It's like a fizz. Look at that. How it's much beautiful. more do we need to get in there? Good. Another two ounces? No. No, that was the two ounces right there. Oh, uh, this Bro is... Mm. Do you want to cut slit in that thing? In what, my, my this? Yeah, wait. In this draw? Yeah. That worked very well that way. I, I'm a huge fan of big, obnoxious garnishes. I love the way that that looks. I think it's a beautiful color drink. It is I'm guessing it's going to taste good. It seems similar to something we made in the past. Yep. And I just tasted it. So you know how it is without ginger ale. Yep. I'll take the taller one because, you know. I'm already tall enough. We're using Q ginger. Well, that's tasty. Um, Q ginger does have a little bit more spice. Actually, get the raspberry in there. A lot of times, like, when you throw raspberries in a cocktail and muddle it up, a lot of times you get a generic berry flavor if it's not balanced properly. Yeah. Without getting the raspberry flavor, but in this you get the raspberry flavor. I think it's because it pairs good with the ginger. And something. the blood orange liqueur, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Salerno product has, mm. a, has definitely has a stellar flavor. The Q ginger is definitely a little bit more spicy. So if you wanted to reproduce the heat of this and you can't get Q ginger and you're using like Schweppes, might be able to use um, ginger beer only. Like yeah, use a ginger. Get a weaker ginger beer. A weaker ginger beer or a blend, half yep. ginger, yep. one ounce ginger beer and one ounce ginger ale, so it's not as intense but has a little bit fiery. Yeah, heat you can to play it. with that ratio to your own taste. I like the fieriness, uh, but it's also not too. It's it's just that subtle um, ginger. It doesn't have the earthy flavor of some some like a ginger syrup. No, no, no. It no. definitely has more of just a, like a a spicy. Yeah, kick the teeth. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a spicy. Hits you a little bit right there. The, the carbonation and everything keeps it light and refreshing at the same time. It does. Definitely a cooler style drink. I guess we can rinse that ice off and use it in another drink. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> we'll do that right next then, I guess. We'll just rinse it right off, throw right. it in. Maybe we'll just make three. Well, we hate to waste. Right. Recycle line. your ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Message of the day, recycle your Message ice. Message of the day. Yeah. Recycle your ice, drink responsibly, go to TGI Fridays, pick up their version of the blood orange cooler because it's getting it's getting to that time of the year where it's gonna get warm. You might yeah. go outside and even great spring drink perspire. Right there. This is a great spring drink. If you're having like a spring or Memorial Day party or something, make a picture of these things. That's great. And make a picture and take a picture. Yeah, make make a picture without the without the ginger ale in it. Then you have something to pour on your top of the ginger ale. You're good to go. Yeah. Great drink, easy to make. That's it. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. Question of the day: Do you like or what is your favorite cooler refreshing drink style cocktail? Yeah. Hmm. Most people, I bet you're gonna say a mule. Or gin and tonic. Oh, yeah, gin. Yeah, I guess gin. Well, that kind of counts, right? It goes for everything. Yeah. That's, that's the default answer for it. It is, it is. Try to stay away from just say ginger and Don't be ginger, generic. Be unique and tea. interesting. Be unique and interesting. That's a like good there. life lesson. <laughs> there you go. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> wow. That's good. That's strong and dry. Yeah. Going on down Let's there. refreshing. It's like dry.